Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, tomorrow is National Fig Newton Day. I don't know if as a kid you were like me, but I tell you what, that was one of the most interesting cookies that I ate as a child was a Fig Newton. I loved figs. Grandma made homemade figs preserved, which was fantastic. So to celebrate tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you how to make a homemade Fig Newton. All right, you can do it yourself. Now, what I've gotten together in the bowl so far, I have light brown sugar and butter, okay? Half a cup of butter, three quarter cups of light brown sugar. And it was packed and I just creamed it out. To that, I'm gonna put in an egg and I put in my vanilla with the egg. Now we just wanna blend this together just for a minute. Now, this is nice and smooth. To this, for our dough, I'm using all purpose flour. This is whole wheat flour, so I have three quarter cups of all purpose flour, half a cup of whole wheat flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. Now, this is gonna be for our crust. So let's just go ahead and get these mixed together right quick. And now I'm gonna just add this together. And we only want to mix this just enough for this to come together. And you see, it's fairly crumble. It's not a very dry, dry type dough. So I'm gonna save out, I wanna save out about three quarter cups of our dough. Look at this texture. See that texture? See, that's what we're looking for. That's what we want. So I'm gonna save out about three quarter cups of it. And if you've noticed in my pan here, I've taken a pan, this is an eight by eight pan, and I've lined it with parchment paper going both ways. And you see, I've sprayed it really good. Now what I want to do is get this in, and I'm just going to press this down, make sure it's flat into the corners, and I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees, okay? So we're gonna bake this in the oven for 20 minutes once I get it smoothed out. And while this is baking, I'm gonna take the remainder of this dough, put it between parchment paper, and make it into an eight inch square for our top layer. So let me go ahead and get this smoothed out, and we'll get this in the oven and baked. Our crust is baked, and as you can see, it's got nice and golden. Just needs about 20 minutes. Now, what I've done with our figs, okay, I had taken dried figs and basically cubed them up. Um, with the figs, you wanna make sure you cut off any stems on the figs. Now, this is what I use. I started with just dried figs and I made sure the little stems were cut off because they could be a little hard, okay? I cooked them in, a, in two cups of apple juice, okay? I had about a cup of the figs, I quartered them, two cups of apple juice, let them simmer for about 30 minutes, got them real soft, then I poured that in a food processor with the juice of a lemon, okay? And that's how it's pureed to this point. So now we wanna take this, our figs, and just spread this out. Spread this over the top. You know, this brought back so many memories of grandmother when she made that homemade fig preserve. All right, just kind of spread it out. And you know, this is a very forgiving recipe. Now remember I told you I was gonna take the top and try to make it into an eight by eight square? Well, what I did, I put it in the freezer and here's our top. I did it between the parchment paper it's nice and cold, but this is also very, very forgiving because if it does crack a little bit, that's okay. As it bakes, that seam is gonna close. So let me get this up. All right, almost there. Oh, of course it was gonna do that, but you know what, that's okay. Let's put a corner down because like I said, it's really forgiving. Let me get that other little piece right up. And get that in. 
Now, if you're wondering why I'm not worried, because it's cracking, okay? Because remember, once this bakes, we're gonna cut these. And once they're cut, nobody's gonna ever recognize that that happened. So I just wanna press it lightly, okay, for it to adhere to it. And look, see the little extra here? I can take this little extra and just patch. But let's go ahead and finish baking this off. Tell you what, the smell is so good. But look at this. Now, now that it's baked, look how that top worked out. That top worked out so great. Now the only thing left is to let it cool. I'm gonna let it rest for a couple of hours before I even try to cut this. But I tell you what, what a great way to celebrate Fig Newton Day by making homemade Fig Newtons. Thank you so much for cooking with me today. Keep washing those hands, stay safe. For WWL-TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton, and we'll see you soon.